Costa Mesa, CBSLA. A couple in their 20s were arrested outside their home in Costa Mesa Sunday night in connection to the 55 Freeway Road raid shooting that took the life of six-year-old Aidan Leos on May 21. Sources tell CBSLA that 24-year-old Marcus Anthony Errors and 23-year-old Win Lee are boyfriend and girlfriend. Errors is suspected of being the shooter, while Lee is believed to have been the driver. CBSLA learned that California Highway Patrol investigators had placed the couple under surveillance for a long period of time. Officers followed him from a restaurant before arresting them outside their Costa Mesa home. Orange County District Attorney Todd Spitzer told CBSLA that murder charges may be on the table, but that a decision on the exact charges will come in the next 48 hours. After prosecutors have been fully briefed on evidence gathered by CHP investigators, law enforcement officials also reported that they know where the suspect's vehicle is located, as well as the gun used in the shooting and that they are working to secure the firearm. We'll be and we're as we speak executing search warrants to get additional evidence that we're going to and want to collect. Spitzer told reporters Sunday night. And we're putting this case together. I feel very, very good about the case. A memorial service for Leo's was held Saturday. On the morning of May 21, Leo's was in a booster seat in the back of his mother's Chevrolet Sonic. On his way to kindergarten in Yorba Linda. When the shooting incident occurred on the northbound 55 freeway in the city of Orange, Joanna Clunan, Aiden's mother, was involved in a road rage incident with the occupants of a white Volkswagen station wagon over a perceived unsafe lane change. According to CHP, detectives believe a woman was driving and a man who was in the front passenger seat committed the shooting itself. Per sources close to the case, both suspects are being held at the Orange County Jail on $1 million bond each. The reward for information leading to the arrest of the suspects has surpassed $500,000. So far there's been no word on whether anyone will receive that. CHP officials said they plan to hold a press conference on Monday. Cheryl Gish, an OC resident, heard news of the arrest and came with her husband to the memorial site for Aiden on the Walnut Avenue overpass above the 55 freeway. I'm thankful that they have somebody in custody, Gish told CBS LA Sunday. It doesn't bring the little boy back. Little Aiden's gone. But I'm so thankful some justice will be served. Every time I pass the freeway, I want to cry, added Jesse Palamo, who brought her children, who are near the same age as Aiden, to the memorial. They lit candles and paid their respects. This is now a place that everyone knows about. Sadly, in a sad, tragic way, Palamo said, but as a community, we've always got to stand together.